What up, everybody? We've got a fun video tonight. Catching night crawlers for your opening day fishing trip or fishing in general. So, the best time to catch night crawlers, in my opinion, is right after a rainstorm. So, we didn't have much of a rain up here in Minnesota today, but we did have enough to soil the ground a little bit and soak it up a little bit. So, what I have now, it's about 11 o'clock at night. I got my headlamp on. I'm going to turn it on. And, uh, check this out i mean they're all over the ground so pretty much you just walk around slowly set your hand out we'll try to grab them real quick put them in your bucket in your pack so let's we'll see if we can get a couple on film that's how you catch night crawlers for fishing or whatnot so hope this helps um all you kids out there when uh, you're trying to get out there and catch some lunkers so let's get it all right so i got uh some worms already i'm gonna turn on my light to bright and uh, make sure you have your, your worms with some nice bedding in there. And as you can see, there's already some coming to the surface. And uh, let's see if we can get a couple on tape here. So, got a big yard here. Look, at there's one right here. Oh, just snuck away. They're quick, all right? So, um, the light helps you see them. They're all, they're really all over. I'm sure I just passed a few too. Um, Tend to like the thicker grass. I see one right there. Let's see if we, oh, yep, you see it? All right, I'm gonna set that down and snap. Oh, oh and he snuck away. Okay, so these guys are long. So you're gonna take a little bit more aggression. There's another one right there. Ah, oh, got away. So it's kind of fun. Definitely fun for the kids. There's another one right there. Set it down. Got him pinched. He's fighting. And ah, got away again. So if it's really wet, there we go. There's a nice long night crawler right there. Just pluck that right from the earth. So that one's going to catch a big old walleye tomorrow on the Lindy rig. Ah, look at the size of these things. Love it. You can inflate them. Do whatever you want. Cut them in bits. But that's how you catch worms, kids, at night, after a rain. All right, that's all. All right, so I got a few more of these. So the last thing you want to do to preserve your, your catch is just keep them in a cool, dry place in your boat or in your refrigerator. That works nice. Just definitely not in the sun. All right, so they'll live in there for a couple days all the way through the weekend until they're all gone, and that's that. All right, so... Hoping to get some big walleyes and some nice panfish with those. Stay tuned. Okay, so as soon as I turn the camera off, I have something else to say. But, uh, you know, you can you can make them come out without a rainstorm, too. You just take your garden hose and spray down the yard. And a few minutes later, they're going to be coming up for some air. So um, that's another way if you're going through a um, little dry spell out there or just been... A high pressure front coming through so hope this helps on your fishing tour your first fishing journey and uh have a great great season out there you know peace